Right, so in this video I'm going to explain the difference between 27 MHz radios and 2.4 GHz radios. So uh, on the right here we have a 2.4 GHz radio characterised by the short aerial here. And it's the same aerial actually and technology that is used in a Wi-Fi router. So I'll explain that a bit later. And on the left here we have a 27 MHz radio which has the traditional long pull-out aerial. Right, so I'll start with the 27 MHz radios and show you the how they work and the advantages and disadvantages. So first of all I'll say that the um, 27 MHz sets use crystals if you can see here. There's one in the back of the radio which they pull out like so and there is one also located on your receiver which will pull out like so. And the crystals have to match. These don't match obviously because they're different colours. These are colour coded. But the crystals have to match in order for the um, radio to work and the receiver to receive the signal. If the crystals don't match, then the signal won't be received. It might end up controlling someone else's car that's got the same frequency. And so that is the disadvantage of these. If you, say, go to a club and uh, somebody else is using the same frequency as you, then you'll have to wait till they've finished or you'll have to swap your frequency crystals out, which is a bit annoying. And it does mean you have to carry a lot of these around if you go to club meetings a lot. But, I mean, for general, just messing about in your backyard or something, it really doesn't matter unless there's other people. Uh, running the cars around you. So, but the advantages of uh, this technology is that it's cheap as anything. You, know, you can pick radio sets like this up for probably 20 quid, and they often come with um, car sets uh, as standard. So, I mean, if, as long as you're not racing or r racing with a lot of people, um, it's perfectly fine. But um, also, if you say agree uh, beforehand what frequency you're going to be using at your club and tell the other people, or maybe they have a, a board up like uh, our local club does where you can put what frequency you're using and you know people look at the board and if they see that frequency has been used they won't use it so that is a way you can actually get around this thing you know there are disadvantages and make it worthwhile right so I'll move on to a 2.4 gigahertz radio now this is a spectrum set it's an aeroplane set but um, works on the same principle as car sets um, one of the advantages is a shorter aerial as I mentioned I've uh, managed to break a lot of aerials on normal radios because you know they're quite long and if you drop them they just sort of bend and snap and then you have to spend a lot of money on a new aerial uh, or a new uh, set even if you can't find the aerial so it's a bit annoying that's one advantage to me but it's not the main advantage of 2.4 gigahertz the main advantage is that it's frequency free essentially what it does is um, most of the technology is hot between different frequencies and say if someone else switches on with a certain frequency it will immediately hop to a different frequency without you even knowing it's done it. You know, you'll still be driving your car and it will hop to a different frequency instantly. So what that means is you can turn this on no matter how many other people are running, um, it will always find a free frequency. I mean, there is a limit. So there's something like, I think it's 60 or 70 limit or something. So, But, I mean, you'll rarely find a place where there's going to be a, you know 60 odd people running a car all at once. But still, um, the technologies are improving still. There's, there's various different technologies that work slightly differently, uh, slightly more reliable, etc. But um, that is the main advantage of um, 2.4 gigahertz. So if you run at a lot of local clubs or maybe go touring somewhere, you know, around different places, racing, then it is really the thing to have because you don't have to mess about with frequencies. You just turn it on and go. Um, a lot of the... A lot of um, manufacturers starting to include 2.4 gigahertz sets as standard with their kits, which is really nice, I think, because the technology is coming down in price as well. Um, probably in a, year, a couple of years' time, they'll be completely phased out from by uh, 27 megahertz radios will be completely phased out because um, the advantage of 2.4 gigahertz are just a lot better. Another advantage that I didn't mention is that they generally have a better range, a little bit more range, and they're, they're not prone to interference. 27 MHz radios can uh, get interference from other radio sets, uh, other radio signals, and cause your car to you know, go off and crash, but 2.4 GHz are less prone. I mean, they're virtually not prone at all to interference, which is another really nice feature. So that is about it for the comparison. Uh, thanks for watching this video and please hit the like button or subscribe for more.